Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up one of these with one of these. Okay, so the simple point of this video then is to show you how to set up an NVIDIA Shield TV box with an Android smartphone. Now, this particular function can also work with an Android tablet or another Android device. And what it basically and simply does is to set up your NVIDIA Shield TV box to the right Google account that your other devices are set up with. So basically, it shortens the kind of setup time and whatnot and stops you from having to fumble around with all kinds of nutty stuff on this when you can just simply transfer it all with this so here i get on with the video showing you how to do it so what i'm going to do here is just switch on the nvidia shield tv box okay so whilst this is booting up i'll just explain a couple of things one i'm using a google pixel phone for doing this and that's obviously because it is an android phone and the second thing that's worth mentioning here is i am not going to speed up or jump through this setup and the reason for that is is because if this is the first time you've attempted to do this yourself it may not help if i start like skimming through it or speeding it up so basically you're going to see this happen in exactly the exact amount of time that it takes me to do it which hopefully is going to be helpful because i'm not going to skip any of the steps whatsoever okay so the first thing it's going to do here it's going to advise us to use the enter buttons on whichever remote control we're going to use to do this as we can see here i'm actually using the gamepad to do it so just hit enter at that point and it'll take you through to the language selection so at this point i'm going to select the language that i want and that's what you should do as well so just scroll down the language list to whatever language it is that you want to use for me personally it's english and united kingdom and then click enter now it's just going to confirm set up your tv with an android phone or tablet so what i'm going to do is just click enter again to say yes and now what it's going to say here is to set up using the google app on the device that we want to use and like i say in my particular instance this is just a phone that i'm using so see if i can get the phone in shot let's see if i can get this focused okay so i'm going to select the google app Hold on. there we go so i've launched the google app like the box is telling me to do so going back to the box it's saying click next so hit enter for next and now what it's saying here, we need to say this command into the device to start the setup. So I'll do that. Let me get this back into focus. Hold on. Okay, Google. Set up my device. And then we'll click next. Now it's asking us, is this what we want to connect to? So we'll click yes, or click on it just to confirm it. Now what it's doing, it's just gonna do a little bit of talking between the phone and the shield box as well. So let's just give that a moment to do what it's doing. Okay, and as we can see here, it's come up with an identification code, which is exactly the same as what it is on the screen there. So what we'll do now, we'll just tap on next again. Let me see if I can get this into focus. So tap next okay now it's saying there device connected but my phone is now asking me to put a fingerprint in so i'm going to put my fingerprint in now that might have asked you something different if you don't have a fingerprint scanner it might have said like a code or a password but whatever you just do what the phone is asking you to do now i've blurred this out here because i don't want anyone to see this information but this is where you select the account that you want to use so i'm going to select the account that i want to set up with and again, it's just gonna go off and do a little bit in the background. Now it's asking me to set up my password. So I'm just gonna put my password in, so give us a moment. Okay, so I've just typed in the confirmation of the password for my Google account. And what it's doing now, it's just gonna get on and go through the proceedings okay so as you can see here it's just saying internet and google account connected 
start using TV remote? Well, the thing is, the TV remote is what we've been using anyway, so I'll just click yes on that. Okay, now it's gonna go to the very first part of the initial setup. So what I'm gonna do here is just click accept for the Google Terms and Conditions that is. Also, location and such, I'll say yes to that. This is obviously talking about something that I've done on a previous device. It may not happen for you, but I don't wanna change that, so I'll just say not now. Help improve Google performance. Yeah, well, why not? Okay, now it's gonna ask us what do we wanna call the box? I'm just gonna call it Shield. And then here is the NVIDIA terms and conditions. So I'm gonna agree with that and continue because I would like to use the NVIDIA functions. Join the M NVIDIA Shield rewards program. I'm not particularly bothered about that right now, so I'll just say not now. So hit enter again. Okay, now at this point, it's asking do I wanna install a bunch of these apps I'm not particularly interested in any of them right now, so I'm just gonna skip by that and just, just say continue, no apps selected. And that's fine. Now what it's doing here, it's just giving us a quick brief about the shield, uh, well, basically sh saying shield is up to date. So we're gonna get started by clicking enter. Now here, it's gonna give us some little bits of tips and whatnot. So I'm just gonna click through these quickly. Okay, now I'm gonna click done. So that's just finalizing all the last little bits. And there we go. So this is now, actually what that's doing there is just applying a quick update for one of the remotes. But basically, there we are. We are now on the main screen for the NVIDIA Shield TV. Okay, so there we have it then, how to set up your NVIDIA Shield TV box and transfer your Google account information to it from another Android device. Now, if you found this video interesting or if it's helped, please give it a thumbs up. You may also wanna consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the notification icon as well. So the last thing that remains for me to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.